there, Julia here. I have several Banus that I've featured before on the channel and today I thought it would be fun to take a closer look at them since I've added a couple of new Banus to my collection. In particular, the Banu Euphoria. I now have four Euphorias and I'm pretty surprised about that just because of how glitzy they are but I've realized that there are just so many different themes and varieties to Banu's that someday, somehow, one will get you or four. But yeah, I just wanted to take a closer look at my newest two because they are on different sides of the spectrum as far as design. So I think one of the Banu Euphorias that are on just like the most subtle side at least that I'm aware of with the Euphoria lineup is this caviar colorway and so you have just beautiful grays and charcoal colors in here with a nice black band, some glitter, a black grip section. Yeah, I feel like this will still turn heads a little bit, but it's not full on blinged out like some of their other colorways. And as you can see, I pretty much stay with that more subtle glitz and glam when it comes to the Banu's. But Banu was super awesome and sent me something a little special here. I'm sorry, I am like a box monster. I will tear a box up so quickly. I love Banu's minimal packaging. I want the pen. Oh, I should mention it does come with a long international standard cartridge and this one is blue, but I have too much bottled ink for that. So let's just open this up and I will show you this beauty, this is Banu's Neptune's Reach. And so this whole body is glittery with those large glitter sections in there as well. And what makes this one super special is that it is hand painted there. So I have a thing for octopi and squid and just tentacles in general. And so I absolutely love this. And it's super special because each one is just a tiny bit different because it is hand done. And if you've ever tried to paint or draw something twice, it never looks exactly the same. So yeah, you can just go from subtle and office ready to like full on custom painting, bling, glitter goodness here. So I think that's really exciting. But let's take a closer look here. Maybe with this one, we can see the facets a little bit better. So if we look at the body here, you can see that this pen is faceted all the way around. I'm gonna take a guess and maybe that design decision was made to help catch some of this glitter and the different things going on with the resin, like help it catch in the light and also as a great roll stop so your pen doesn't go rolling off your desk. The whole pen's a roll stop. <laughs> One of my favorite things about the Banu Euphoria as well is the clip. It has a very springy clip so you can get it on to thicker clothing, denim, thicker notebooks. I don't have to have a clip on my pens, but it is nice to have one when I need one. And this one does feel very functional, not too delicate. And so I appreciate that. Let's talk about this grip and the comfort here. So we do have some steps here, some steps up to this threading area and then another step to the main body of the pen. And the steps are pretty smooth. I, with my grip, I don't really feel them at all, just a little bit on my thumb here, but I can't ever remember thinking that the Euphoria 
was uncomfortable in my hand. And I've had at least this one for a couple of years now. The filling mechanism is a cartridge slash converter. You saw the cartridge earlier, and it is a standard international. So you can fit a wide variety of converters in here, which makes it super convenient to both fill and clean. The nib on this is a Schmidt German nib, stainless steel, looks like a size six, pretty sure it's a size six nib. And the Euphoria right now is available in fine, medium, and broad. I love looking at this one. Oh my God. Okay, I do wanna do a quick size comparison just in case you have not been around a Euphoria before. Also wanna mention, not very postable. I mean, it's obviously doable and the clip or the cap doesn't fly off, but it's not the most postable pen ever. And I feel like the intention is that it's not postable. So let's look at this compared to our Lamy Safari, which is postable, but for these purposes, let's look at it here. Quite a bit taller than the Lamy Safari. And with this one, the Lamy Safari has a really long grip section. You typically just want to grip in this top section here on this pen. I'll show you with the caviar as well. You can see that you would typically grip in this section before the threads. And if we go nib first, kind of lining up the grip sections here, you can see that the Lamy Safari's entire grip section is the same size as the Euphoria's grip and this little extra cap threading section here. So just something interesting to look at, to note, to help you envision the size of the Euphoria. Also wanna do a quick weigh in. And since typically we don't want to post the Euphoria, I'm also going to do just this section of the Lamy Safari. Okay, unposted the Lamy Safari is 10 grams. I expect this is going to be quite heavier, but the Lamy Safari is a light pen. Oh, not too much. So the, the new Euphoria is 14 grams. Okay, I wanna do a writing sample and I have some ink matches for Neptune's Reach. If you follow me on Instagram, this definitely looks familiar. I love doing these pen and ink matches. And so here, there's something about like this deep red and ox blood. So I think I'm gonna ink it up with ox blood for my writing sample. And then I might do a half page for the caviar as well. Here are my matches for that. And for this one, I think I'm gonna go with diamine Earl Grey. Okay, so we have diamine ox blood and diamine Earl Grey. Okay, so this is my favorite way to fill a cartridge converter pen that I've found to be the least messy for me. Just gonna take this out. This is just a blunt syringe and I just pull up a little bit. Put a little bit in here, stick that in there. And then to get writing right away, I do just dip the nib and wipe the grip. And then by time this is all used up, the ink would have time to get down to the feet as well. So we have a medium nib here. We have a broad nib here. And then I'll show you what a fine line looks like as well for this nib so you can see the difference. Okay, so you can see the differences between the fine, medium, and broad here. I do wanna say that all three were very smooth 
and the writing experience is so good. There isn't a lot of difference between the medium and broad. You can tell it a little bit more in the writing, but in these lines here, not so much, just the smallest difference, smallest jump here. Why do I have a fine medium and broad? Because I like to jump around. Nib sizes, I love nib grinds, so I like to have a variety of nibs. And important to note with the Euphorias, you can swap the nib unit and housing out to different pins. So I'm a little bit hardcore about if I have multiples of the same pin model I like to have different nib sizes, especially if they are swappable. Okay, I'm going to do half a page writing sample with this medium nib with the Neptune's reach, reach, and then I'll do another half page with the caviar broad. Okay, had a little writing session. I always think it's funny how my handwriting changes a little bit based on the size nib that I have. I kind of wish I did a little bit of the fine writing too because I think it would be different still when compared to the medium, but overall pretty comfortable. I have some me problems to work on. I felt like I was having a death grip on the grip section, but once I realized that and kind of let off a little bit, it was super comfortable. The nib is so wet and just flows so well in both cases here. And it was just really smooth, really great. This paper is Cosmo Air Light paper, which I also love as well. But yeah, I've been loving the Banu Euphoria. It continues to be just a fun pen. There's just so many different themes and you could really go more subtle or custom hand painted or full on bling. They have some that are just full on the big glitter pieces and it's fabulous as well. So who do I think the Banu Euphoria is for? So someone who is a little fun, or if you're gifting a pen for a special occasion or a milestone, I think this is a great gift. It is a super reliable writer, so that in and of itself makes it a really great gift, one that someone won't be frustrated by. And I also think someone who loves storytelling because I think Banu does a really cool job with every pen having a story, an inspiration in their other model. They put pieces of the inspiration into the pen resin and that's super cool. So yeah, thanks to Banu for sending Neptune's reach over. I will treasure it. Definitely consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy pens, inks, planning, and journaling. Would also love to hear your thoughts on Banu in the comments for someone who may be on the fence or looking into the brand. And if you wanna see 
another Banu in action, I will leave you with a currently inked video that features a Banu Euphoria. I'll leave that for you right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.